guys, welcome to EGMAT. Today we are going to talk about quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a four-sided 2D figure whose sum of internal angles is 360 degree. In the real world, this geometric figure can be found everywhere. Right from the screen that you're watching this video on to the Parthenon in Greece. And that's not all, the tabletop where you keep your laptop and sip your morning coffee the picture frame where your best moments get captured and the door that you just entered from all are examples of quadrilaterals. Thus, anything with four sides, even if the sides are uneven, is a quadrilateral. In this video, we'll discuss the properties of quadrilaterals, the different types of quadrilaterals, important quadrilateral formulas and a practice question at the end. Let's start by establishing basic properties of quadrilaterals. There are basically two properties of quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral should be closed shape with four sides and all internal angles should sum up to 360 degree. But how do we distinguish one quadrilateral shape with another? There are five types of quadrilaterals based on their shape. Rectangle, square, rhombus, parallelogram and a trapezium. Let's discuss each of these five quadrilaterals in detail. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Thus, all the angles in a rectangle are equal, that is 90 degree. Moreover, the opposite side of a rectangle are parallel and equal and diagonals bisect each other. Some real world examples of rectangles are dollar bills, license plate, a bookshelf, cell phones, chocolate bars, and many more. Moving on to the properties of a rectangle. A rectangle has three properties. All the angles of a rectangle are 90 degree, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and parallel, and diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. If we want to calculate the area and perimeter of a rectangle, then area of a rectangle equals length into breadth and perimeter of rectangle equals 2 into length plus breadth. The second type of quadrilateral is a square. It has four equal sides and angles and is also a regular quadrilateral as both its sides and angles are equal. Just like a rectangle, a square has four angles of 90 degree each. Thus, it can also be a rectangle whose two adjacent sides are equal. Some of the real life examples are a chessboard, dices, the waffles, the Rubik's cube, the carom board and many more. Moving on to the properties of a square. A square has three properties. All the angles of a square are 90 degree. All sides of a square are equal and parallel to each other and the diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly. If we want to calculate the area and parameter of a square with side A, then area of a square equals to A into A equals to A square and perimeter of a square equals to 2 into A plus A equals to 4A. The next type of quadrilateral is rhombus. It is a quadrilateral whose all four sides are equal in length and opposite sides are parallel to each other. However, the angles are not equal to 90 degree because a rhombus with the right angles would become a square. Another name for rhombus is diamond as it looks like a diamond suit in playing cards. Let's move on to the properties of rhombus. It has four properties. Opposite angles are equal all sides are equal and opposite sides are parallel to each other. Diagonals bisect each other perpendicularly and sum of any two adjacent angle is 180 degree. If we want to calculate the area and perimeter of a rhombus with side A and two diagonals D1 and D2, then the perimeter of a rhombus equals 4A. Area of a rhombus equals half into D1 into D2. The next type of quadrilateral is a parallelogram. As the name suggests, it is a simple quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. Thus, it has two pairs of parallel sides. 
Moreover, the opposite angle in a parallelogram are equal and its diagonal bisect each other. The Docklin office building in Hamburg, Germany is one of the example of a parallelogram. In fact, rectangle, square and rhombuses are all parallelograms. Thus, any object that has one of these shapes is a parallelogram. Let's move on to the properties of a parallelogram. It has four properties. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite sides are equal and parallel. Diagonals bisect each other. And sum of any two adjacent angle is 180 degree. If we want to calculate the area and parameter of a parallelogram, then perimeter of a parallelogram equals 2 into length plus breadth and area of a parallelogram equals length into height. The last quadrilateral that we will talk about is a trapezium. It has only one pair of parallel sides referred to as bases and the other two sides are called legs or lateral sides. For example, take pyramids. I know you all will be like, hang on, that's a triangle. But imagine if you take out the top part of it, we get a trapezium. Similarly, have you noticed when you go out for a movie night and can't stop munching on that popcorn? Most of those popcorn bags are in the shape of a trapezium. Having said that, let's talk about the properties and area formula of the trapezium. A trapezium is a quadrilateral where only one pair of opposite sides are parallel to each other. To calculate the area and parameter where h is the height of a trapezium, then the parameter of trapezium equals sum of length of all the sides and the area of the trapezium equals half into sum of lengths of parallel sides into h. Finally, to summarize all the properties of the quadrilaterals that we have learned so far, here is a table. Now that we have discussed all the properties of five quadrilaterals, let's put your learnings to the test. Question 1. Adam wants to build a fence around his rectangular garden of length 10 meters and width 15 meters. How many meters of the fence should he buy to fence the entire garden? 20, 25, 30, 40 or 50 meters? Question 2. Steve wants to paint one rectangular shaped wall of his room. The cost to paint the wall is $1.5 per square meter. If the wall is 25 meters long and 18 meters wide, then what is the total cost to paint the wall? 300, 350, 450, 600 or 675 dollars. Check out the detailed solution by clicking on the link available in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like our video if you enjoyed watching it and share it with your friends and let us know your views in the comment section. Also any suggestions on how we can improve this video are most welcomed. Subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more content on GMAT and MBA admissions.